I'm going to jump into new business, then we can jump back into old business. Right now, I, I don't think um, to a person, you know, unless you've been under a rock, realize that we have not necessarily new people, but people who are in other positions. Um, Christy certainly has been with us for a long time, but somehow even here moving from that chair to this chair is a very different deal and we have movement in town manager we unfortunately lost Wanda we have movement in HR we have movement in the police department we have movement everywhere and unfortunately to some extent for us a lot of this movement is coming during budget time and I don't think people are firmly seated and I want to give them a break however we have a job to do, and we have a lot of questions. And the questions appear to be going unanswered. And I don't know if it's because some plates are just so full right now, and or that we're a voice maybe once a month and it rolls and it's not followed up or whatever. So this is what I'm suggesting. And this is for the budget workshop, and it's only a suggestion. You can agree to it or not. Um, I'm suggesting that we compile, you know, you have the schedule, the schedule is not changing, as to when the departments are coming in. I would say we get on board with compiling questions based on the schedule. For instance, if this isn't the schedule, but say next week is the fire department. I would say by the end of this week, we should have questions that you have in mind. We'll compile it on one list. It'll become a permanent record with the, meet, with the minutes that we forwarded these questions to these individuals so that when they come into that meeting and that part of the workshop, they have those answers for us. So we're not rolling with, here's a question, did we get an answer, we didn't get an answer, what was the answer? And I have no problem compiling the list, all of you send it to me in an email, no just no opinions, just questions. And I'll compile the list of questions and send them to the department heads and have that be part of their presentation when they come into us. Discussion on that. If I recall, uh, we broke the committee into somebody who was going to go to DPW, somebody who was going to go with us. So you know what I mean? Mm -hmm to become knowledgeable about what their issues are. I mean, that's the obvious way to... Well, we, we've, we've done that, um, but I think that we have more specific kind of questions, more... That had to do operationally, and we've done that in education, we've done it in DPW. Mike probably has spent, I don't know how many hours, Mike, at DPW. Jerry um, has spent a gazillion hours at, at DPW. I think these are purely budget questions. I think they're like Michael says, look, this line doesn't make sense, all right? But it, it begs the question, do we throw each one of these out there? I think it's easier to solidify these. And if we do it on some sort of schedule before the workshop and send it out, that when they come in to do their, the, uh, when the department heads come in to do the presentations, they will already have had some of these questions posed. Not all of them. I'm not saying that the night of um, that discussion that you won't have other questions. But maybe some of these things, and if we go about documenting it, having it part of our minutes, maybe <coughs> it'll have a different effect in what we get back for answers. I don't know how you feel about that. So what you're saying is that rather than have <coughs> the fire department sitting there and us going page by page of his budget. No, um, we still go page by page. But I'm just suggesting that prior to him appearing here, that we draft up a question on line items, such and such and such and such, submit it to you, and then you will ask that question that night? No. What I'm saying is, let's say fire department's coming in next week. Right. A week out. Let's give them a week, all right? A week out, you submit any question you might you. have to me. I'm not going to change them. I'm not going to edit them. I'm just going to put them on a list. 
and send them as they exist there and ask that the department heads include the answers to those questions in their presentations. Because some of these questions may involve a little bit of research and it's going back to what I'm saying about we have people in new places and what I want is the best answers. That's what I'm concerned with. The best answers for us from an informational standpoint while we're sitting here deliberating and going through the workshop. Jim? I think it's a good idea because rather than somebody saying to you, I've got to go back and research that. Exactly. They've got, they've got, the, uh, the, they've got the head start, they're on the ground running, mm -hmm. and they've got an answer, you know, and then people still can throw it, questions out that they come up with that in the evening, mm -hmm. correct? Exactly. And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing here tonight, I mean, mm -hmm. we asked this question, we didn't get an answer. We right. asked that question, we didn't get an answer. You know, was it meant not to answer us? Probably not. It probably just slipped between the cracks because it was one little question. I think sending a format out, giving them enough time a week, I mean, they're probably questions we would have asked anyway. But if they're, they're questions that are involving um, dollars and cents, then give them the heads up to plug the numbers in, come and discuss it with us. <coughs> it's not going to circumvent any questions that you would ask or change anything that we've ever done during an actual workshop night. All we're going to do is add to it and make it public record that we've asked these questions. Uh, just one thing I'd Sunny? like to say is if we have the, the new budget just the numbers, and we don't have the default budget to compare, you know, you can't really tell what there's a line item that's a large increase. That would be the question you would have, but you don't, without the default budget, you can't really, you know, you're just seeing the numbers. We'll find a solution to that yeah, between sure. now and when we start, um, but it, the way this exists right now, it is going to make it more difficult. Uh, what you're proposing is actually, at least as I'm hearing it, is an additional process from yes. what we presently do. This is not to replace anything right. presently, but it gives an opportunity for the person that we want to direct our question to to have some advanced time to answer, do some research and prepare a proper answer, and perhaps eliminate redundant questions, but in any case, we'll still be able to ask questions just as we normally do. Is that correct? You, yes. Okay, and you'll be sending these questions out to uh, the uh, intended uh, audience. Uh, to the intended, like to the department. One day yes. before, one week before. I would like to give them, you know, a few days before. I mean, it's certainly more notice than asking them cold on the spot when they come in. Well, I'm just trying to get a sense of when the deadline is for us to get the questions to you. Well, you have the schedule for the 30th, which would be next Thursday. Right. I would say clearly go over the list of the departments, um, go over what you see in the budget, now that you have your budget books, and for the departments that are coming in on the 30th, if you would forward me those questions by Friday. I will put them together. Having learned something from my partner here, um, the only thing that made me nervous when you said about opinion, yeah, um, no opinion. you're just going to send it as we send it to you? That's yeah. the only little question I, I, I had. I said, I'm if not I said something in no. there, or, so uh, and I just don't want it. Basically, I'm just going to compile the emails that you send. Okay. And I'm going to forward those. So do not send exactly them around to one another. Exactly as we phrase them. Right? Exactly right. as you okay. phrase will them. Will you be forwarding <laughs> who asked the question? Right. To? I said will that. Will you be forwarding who asked the question? I'm going to. I'm going to forward the email exactly as it, you send it to so me. You're actually forwarding so the email. So I'm asking okay. you not to express any opinion. Mm -hmm. Just ask a question. This is something we haven't done before. So I don't think we need a thousand pages here, but and you're not going to have a question for every department head on every issue. On not every all fifteen of you will. Hmm. All right, but if you do, then you'll just send them to me, and I'll compile them, and I will send them to the department head purely as they exist. There will be no editing on my part. But all I ask in return is that you send it purely in question form. Fair so enough. So on Thursday being shown by Friday, how about oh Tuesday? I'm sorry? <laughs>
the Thursday meetings you want the information to you by the this prior Friday. Friday. How about Tuesday right. meetings? You want that by the prior? We cut them down from I would say, you know, rolling forward, the, yeah, I, I think by Friday of every week, let's say it, if, if you, I, I want to hear how you guys feel about this, first of all, before we start sca I'm, schedule. I'm, I'm pretty good with it, you except with for it? the I tightness like the of the next meeting. Um, I, you know, I'd like to, you know, at least have the weekend to compile because uh, we've got board of selectmen, we've got our own budget, town yeah, clerk, but then tax collector, conservation commission, heritage commission, mm -hmm. miscellaneous committees, and welfare. So that's a lot to be thinking about. So you want to uh, say by Monday? Yeah, something like that would be very helpful. Yeah, but then you'll also have by next Friday the following week's agenda? <laughs> well, I have that already, but the point is is that we should at least have one weekend opportunity of consideration. Because right, you questions. just got the books. All right. And I don't have any, I'm not hearing anything on this side. How do you guys feel about it? Well, what you're really saying is you want to, you need to get the agendas out with enough lead time. The, just so everybody knows, the this, this agenda mm -hmm. that you have in front of you tonight, it's basically the agenda, all right? You have the schedule of who's in, okay? So that is the agenda. When we go into the workshops, we just bring the department head, for every entity up, and that's your agenda. For the sake of posting and that, I will put an agenda out there, but you don't need me to call you and tell you that the agenda will be exactly by your schedule, only it's going to be a workshop on those departments that it's night. the calendar you gave out. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's and just that's what I just read for the next All meeting, of the so. departments have gotten, they, when I gave you that a long time ago, they got it as well. It's been posted in town. I continue to post it. People continue to take it. Um, but it's, it's, it's been out there. So that is the agenda. I think it's worth trying to do this so process. I really do. Feeling on this side? Uh, if something comes to you, which is 60% opinion and 40% question, will you send that email on? No, I'll probably send it back to you and ask you to just put it in a question form. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm asking purely questions. <coughs> okay. All right? And no opinions. And it will know that what you put in there will become part of the permanent record. I will put this as part of the minutes, this process. Now, and the answer back to you, will that be shared with the committee? I'm sorry? The answer to questions you send to me. The, uh, the well, I'm Go we're going, to, we're going yeah. to pose them <coughs> ahead of time to the department mm -hmm. heads so that, that they can answer them that night. That night. Should a department head choose to answer any of those questions in advance of that night, will you share those answers with the committee? Yes, and make that part of the record. I think you should probably share your memo. Your email should say not to answer them. Right. Uh, I, I, yeah. Yeah, it should be clear. And, 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 and I'm going to have to make it clear to the department heads. We're trying to help them. Yeah. We're trying to give them a little bit of time and a little bit of a heads up to gather the information. Be you know, prepared. there's things that we do that we don't even think about. I mean, after how many years am I on the committee? I don't think about when we're having our meetings anymore. <coughs> after somebody new. It's like, well, when did you schedule that? When do you schedule, you know, deliberative session? Even though we know it's the first, you know, Saturday of February. So I'm just giving everybody that leverage, okay? Just looking at the workflow here, Eileen, I would, I would suggest, I mean, I think the idea is a good one. Mm -hmm. And I think we ought to pursue it. Um, but just to improve the workflow just a little bit, I think it makes more sense for you to, you know, copy and paste the questions in a singular email and number them so that when we do get in the meeting, we can actually refer to the questions by number if, if we need to refer to we them. Can do that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And that way the recipient is just getting one email. You know email. what, the whole yeah. idea is that, you know, look, we don't need to send books. The whole idea is that right. you know, anything you send me, as long as it does not have an opinion, is going to go as it is. Got it. You know, got, All right. got That's that it. I don't Sorry. think we've got to spend more time now, on that. Now, what happens if, I mean, how are you going to group these questions? Because I could give you, let's eight questions. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy is five and four. Are we going to group them? In other words, I give you five, or my group of five going to be together? Yeah. Or are you going to yeah. bang, 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 Yeah, bang, no, but you know what? I mean, don't use this as an opportunity to, like like I say, write a book. If there's no. something that you really I think. And, and the thing here, too, if, if it's an obvious question that's you know going to take two seconds, we don't need to have somebody research that. I understand. If you think it's a question that maybe they got to go dig for a number, then that's now, the kind of thing. There may be uh, 
duplicates and triplicates. I mean, we right. Yeah, five made, people might have the same you question. Know, so like, that's going to have to be. But that's it, okay, Jerry. Well, they'll be numbered anyway. If, so if, we'll if there is, I'm, 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 the idea is I'm not going to shut anybody out of the process. I'm trying to shorten all of us, 15 people going to department heads asking all these questions while they got a lot going on. Uh, but still have the questions answered. The, the bottom line is I want our questions answered. Yeah. Okay? That's the bottom there's line. There's really been no movement in DPW or the police department. But Sawyer knows the budget inside and out. And then, and, uh, the, the, you know, the DPW has been stable. The only movement has been, uh, you know, assistant town manager and, and, and Wanda's died. I mean, there hasn't been all this movement. Well, well, wait till we get to the school board. Don't forget the prime <laughs> Jerry, forget are, you will, are you willing to go with the new process? Try yeah, it out well, anyway? Sure, I'll try it. All right. Most of my time is going to be analysis. Then I'll, after I get it analyzed, then I'll try to put it, have the time to put it in questions. You don't have to. That's an option. That just helps facilitate your mm -hmm. likelihood of getting an answer. I understand. It's not okay, required. That's right? it. Yeah. You know, and if you don't get one, it wasn't that you didn't ask and wasn't part of the public record. So what do we do about Tuesday meetings then? We've established Mondays. For the Thursday night meetings, you established that a while ago. So what are we going to do about Tuesday night events next week? Yeah. We have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night meetings, so I'm going to put it to you this way, okay? You want to that one. Going forward, I'm going to simplify it. You'll have a little bit of running room this week. Get me the questions by next Monday for next oh, Thursday's right. session. Mm -hmm. And that time, I'll be able to let the department heads know what's coming at them, okay? Yep. And then whatever's on the calendar for the next week after that, sometimes you have two nights. Get them to me by Friday. Fair enough? That's fair, except it makes it shorter for some at the beginning of the week. That's all for that reason. I can't cure everything. I'm you can not, always ask when they hear. I'm, yes. I'm not looking it, to make a job out of it. It hasn't been changed. I agree. I agree. Michael. You know, keep it simple. I'm yeah. trying to reinvent the wheel here a little bit. They come in here and they, and they explain the changes that they've requested in their budget. Yeah. Change generates questions. Mm -hmm. Probably 50 or 60 percent of those questions can be answered when, when the department head is sitting right there saying, <coughs> we added two people. So with the addition of these two people, this changed, this changed, and this changed. Mm -hmm. Now the question's answered. Mm -hmm. Nobody has to ask it because he explained it when he was here. Take the questions from that night that he's here that he can't answer and put them in a list. Give it to him. Let him go back. We have a final review. We have other nights that we could bring him in later on through the budget process say these are the five questions that we need to have answered before final review so that we can make an informed decision. Problem you, you, you try to ask them ahead yeah. of time, it's like you're trying to figure out what they're thinking before you even hear that, what they're th thinking. This isn't going to preclude us from asking our usual questions. That, but the problem is we traditionally run out of time. We've gotten larger. It was simple, you know, Mike. It was simpler a decade ago. We were both here, yeah, okay. It was simpler a while back. Now we've got additional personnel. We've got departments that we didn't have ten years ago. And while I've grown the schedule, I still can only grow it so much. We can't be here till eleven o'clock at night. And like I said, if you get the gist of this, this isn't for everybody to write a book. I don't care if you have quest don't have any questions well, that you said. I'm not against the right. Point, and I'm just, just saying we just give a heads up on a few things. They can cover it, and then if there's more questions, we can still ask them. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect. I'm not saying that we don't go back and have something at review. But I'm trying to just tackle the situation where we're asking questions and we're not getting answers, and then we get crushed for time mm -hmm. and we drop it. And I don't think we're doing a good service by doing that. Richard. I kind of agree with Mike. I think it's a duplication of effort here. Because when, the, when the, uh, the department heads put this budget together, they're pretty much uh, aware of where they made their, ch they are aware of where they made their changes. And I think they could give us a satisfactory explanation right there when they're sitting in front of us. Uh, I don't recall in the past where we have sat down and talked to department heads and got a response, well, 
gee, I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to have to get back to you. They come in prepared. We you know, we go that, we take that book and we almost go line for line. And it seems to me that every time a question comes up or we say, well, why is this particular line item increased? The department head has the answer for us right then and there. I don't, and I don't recall that big of a problem of them saying, she said, you know, I'm not sure about that. I'm going to have to get back to you. Except yeah. now you've got a new fire chief, a new police chief, an acting town manager. Yeah. Well, and you've got a new... We have to, I think we've got to depend right. on you their professionalism. I, I, I think in fairness, I'm going to go around the table one yeah. time and get, let everybody right. weigh in on That's this just one my way opinion. Of, I, one I think way it's a duplication other. of effort. Michael? I, I want to make a comment real quick before I say anything else. I can remember many times that we've had questions in this budget committee when they come in and they didn't have the answers. And I think Eileen's, the chairman's idea of giving them a little heads up is a good idea. And as a TV viewer, he's <laughs> shaking his head, yes, so I must not be the only person that has a vivid imagination. So I think your idea is wonderful. I think we ought to go with it. And if we need a vote to make it work, let's take a vote. Jim? I think we ought to go with it. Yeah. Sonny? I mean, it's worth a try. I think we just need to keep it simple. I think uh, uh, Mike made uh, some valid points, and I don't see any reason why we can't do that. If we're creating a list before they come in. We should be modifying that list when they leave. So if there are outstanding questions or check off questions that were answered. Mm -hmm. So that, we, I mean, it just seems to me that you, you're talking before, he's talking after, and, and we really want both. Right. You know, so let's have the option for both and keep it simple. Right. I couldn't have said it better. Uh, it doesn't change anything. Right. I mean, um, if we don't get through the whole book this weekend, we'll wait for the person to show up next week and ask them that. Rich? I've already stated my case. Okay. Bob? I'm fine with it. Yeah, I said give it a shot. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with what Mike said, but hey, listen, I'll do the analysis, and uh, if I think questions are in order, I'll, I'll document it as well. You know, you know what? Um, let's try it on a trial basis. Let's try it. Let's, you know, keep it, keep it simple. Maybe one, think of it in one line, as I always say, 20 words or less for the question. And let's try it. If, it, if it's not working, we can always abandon it. Um, but we'll give it a try. I think it's a All novel right. approach. Uh, mm -hmm. Give it a try. Okay. I just, if I could just, I'd like you to make sure <coughs> the department heads know what the concept is, that these aren't the questions that they're going to be asked that night. In total. Exactly. That this is just a guide and the just board is up. still going to be uh, yeah, asking yeah. questions because I don't want them to think this is what they have to bring in and there's nothing else just so they're on the same page I as mean, my conversation basically to the department heads are like look what we've looked at so far these are the questions that are sitting mm -hmm. in the front of our brain I mean that way you've got somewhat of a heads up what's coming and I think we'll get a better answer I really do mm -hmm. but like I said let's try it we don't have to live by it um, let's see if it works and uh, the end result is just that we get the answers that we need. 